Now, for months now, the message from BC Health officials has been clear. Get vaccinated. So imagine a mission man's surprise when he showed up for his scheduled second dose and was denied. As Bell Puri of our CBC Impact team reports, BC's vaccination system leaves little room for patient self-advocacy if there's a mistake. After decades of telling other people's stories, this husband and wife camera team is baffled by its own. When Chris Lindgren went in for his COVID vaccine top-up, neither expected this. And they said, you have already got your second shot, basically, bye-bye, go home. It was a confirmed booking for June 11th at 12.30, but Fraser Health staff at the Mission Clinic were adamant he got the shot two days earlier. Lindgren says, no way. I honestly don't understand. To confuse matters further, the couple also got confirmation for a second dose on June 9th at 10.35, but the email arrived on June 9th at 10.36. They said, do not reply to this email. But there also was, if you wanted to cancel it, but why could I, should I cancel it? It was already too late, so I didn't do anything. The pair went to the clinic as planned on Friday the 11th. They said they had witnesses, two witnesses, that I was there on the 9th and got my shot, which is uh, it's not right. I mean, <laughs> I was home that time of day. Lindgren wasn't allowed access to the witnesses, so he produced his vaccine card with no record of a second shot. They filled out uh, the, the, that I've got in on the 9th and got my second shot. But they filled it out on the 11th? Yes. CBC checked Lindgren's cell phone location data. It shows the device was home on June 9th until 11.15 when the couple drove to Abbotsford. Like most British Columbians, the Lindgrens are eager to get back to gatherings with friends and family. They have a new granddaughter born during the pandemic who they haven't met and their work depends on being fully vaccinated. Fraser Health won't discuss details of the case due to privacy concerns, but says this is a serious matter and we are looking into it. Generally, we have strict processes in place to keep track of doses. Lindgren is 81. I think they tried to get it to a point where I wasn't having my marbles in the right place because they asked me how old I was and then immediately after go home. This week one more Fraser Health email announcing Lindgren was booked June 15th for a first dose of vaccine. He's had his first vaccine for three months already. I don't know what's going to happen if I only have one shot. No word on if there will be a second. Bell Puri, CBC News, Burnaby. Dr. Bonnie Henry was asked today if there is any harm in getting a third dose of COVID vaccine. She says there is no health risk in taking yet another shot. No, there's no uh, harm to one's health. There's no risk for getting a, a, a third dose. Um, it won't um, count as a, a third dose, essentially. It just is the, the same. Um, if you get them too close together, it's, your body doesn't recognize it as more than one. So, but there's no adverse effects that we know of. Um, there can be uh, an increased uh, sore arm and, and a local reaction. Parents, teachers and students in BC. An about face from Fraser Health tonight after an elderly BC man was denied his second COVID shot. Last night, we told you about 81-year-old Chris Lindgren. He turned away. He was turned away at Mission Memorial Hospital. Lindgren says staff told him he had already received the second dose days earlier. But he says that simply wasn't the case. After an investigation, Fraser Health invited Lindgren to come and get his second jab this afternoon. An apology or a contact uh, with a screener and the person that said that they injected me, that would have been nice too. Fraser Health says it has strict processes in place to keep track of doses. It's unclear how the mix-up occurred.